You will become an explorer into the mysteries of life. Why are we attracted to one person and not another? What happens when we confront our darkest fears? Can we ever become young again? What are the limits of human endurance? Celebrate the power of the human spirit in its relentless pursuit of knowledge. The more we know, the more powerful we become. Explorations. On Explorations, how this fly can help us all hear better. Armia flies can detect a male cricket over the length of half a football field. It's technology that could help children, like Kyle, hear for the very first time. He's going to be able to hear dogs and birds and aeroplanes, so I'm very, very hopeful. And how astronomers are constructing a giant ear to answer the ultimate question, are we alone? Although we have searched only a thousand stars, within 50 years we will have searched the galaxy. And so I at least expect success. We live in a world of constant noise. Or the television. Making sense of it for us are our ears. They're robust enough to endure a rock concert, yet sensitive enough to hear a pin drop. But the ear does more than just hear. It adds texture to our lives. But what if you heard the world like this? This boy does. Kyle Duxbury. Born deaf, he has never heard his mother's voice, laughter, or birds in the trees. His auditory pathway never formed properly, and so sound waves never reach his developing brain. Kyle's world is silent. I started to realize when he was about nine months, because I'd look at other people's children and they'd be yabbering on. All Kyle did really was high-pitched screams. It still upsets me now because I told him that I loved him and he never heard me for all the time. It's quite upsetting. Yeah. So what is wrong with Kyle's ears? The ear is a highly complex collection of tissues. Sound waves are directed by the outer ear and hit the eardrum, which causes three tiny bones in the middle ear to vibrate. From here, sound vibrations are transferred to a structure called the cochlea. Inside are thousands of tiny hair cells that vibrate as the sound hits them. These send a signal up the auditory nerve to the brain. But in Kyle's ear, these hair cells weren't vibrating. Uh. Now, there might be a way he can hear. He could have pioneering yet dangerous surgery to fit a cochlear implant. This is an amazing wonder of science, a bionic ear. With a cochlear implant, an array of electrodes take the place of the hair cells. When they fire, they stimulate the auditory nerve. But cochlear implants aren't perfect. Unlike our own ears, they have difficulty making out a voice in a crowd. The microphones aren't directional enough. Now, work being done at Cornell University in New York is going to change that. 